Hey folks, welcome back. Okay, this is Moria, and I'm uh, I've come back up to the up to the town, the study town level, so that I can actually get some get more some more equipment, sell some of the stuff that I've got, and just kind of take a breather from the intensity of the dungeon. Because at the moment, um, it, I'm I'm kind of at level six, I think I am at level six. Yeah, there we are, level six, and we need to get to 224 for the next experience level. Um, we've we really need to kind of get to the point where we can head further down into the dungeon now. So let's head over to the armory. So what we've got to sell first. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of wands and stuff, right? I'm going to sell one of these wands. Now I need to remember. Oh. Okay, we killed the mercenary. Gosh, that was a bit scary. But he's dropped. Uh, there was a potion of salt water dropped. Okay, I'm going to sell this uh, a magnesium wand. Now, I'm going to sell it for 100, if I can. Ridiculous. Okay, 40. No, I want more than that. 25 then. Okay, you sold a wand of heal monster. So he's probably going to just get rid of that immediately. Yeah, he's not going to sell that because no one's going to want to buy it. So what can we sell? Selling a Wand of Heal Monster, how dare you? I will not buy that. Okay, so we found a bunch of useless stuff. Let's just drop. Which one do we want to drop? It's J and J. Okay. Drop. Oh, no room to drop anything. Drop. J. Okay. I don't think he'll. I don't think we'll be able to sell the uh, potion of salt water either. Uh, he he won't buy that. Okay. So we didn't make much money, uh, but at least we identified that wand as being something that we really do not want to to be using. That was important, I think. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff that we can try selling here. So. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Um, we've got two potions of boldness. I want to keep on with those. Scroll of blessing, and it got a cast iron wand. So this is, I mean, this is one way of identifying. Oh, it's a wand of wonder. The fifteen charges. Uh, okay, so let's just. Okay, that's he's saying that's worth a thousand. That's kind of interesting. All right, so at least we've identified that. <clears throat> uh, we've got a bunch of other stuff that we can get rid of too. Uh, we've got wooden torches, iron spikes. Uh, we've got a dog, a but yeah. So we've got some weapons that we can sell. We don't really need. So let's just sell. We'll sell our original stiletto. Okay, so we sold that for four gold pieces. That's not much, but there we go. Uh, then there's a main gosh and a and a dagger. Now these could be cursed. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna just try selling them all basically. Okay, sixty. So. Looks like war surplus. It kind of is. Okay, I got 14 for it. It's not bad for a dagger. <clears throat> yeah, so he's he wants to be selling that for 61. That's kind of interesting. I guess it just does more damage than the uh, stiletto. I would have get rid of this last one as well. So uh, the bodkin dagger. Okay. All right, so we've got 336 left. Now, there is a short bow here, look, um, with a plus one, plus one. But it's 600. We can't afford it. That's a shame. Um, how many arrows have we got in our quiver? 23. That's probably enough for now. 
okay, anything else that we can get rid of? Hmm. Got enough food, I think. Yeah, we've just got a bunch of potions probably need to probably need to uh, kind of figure out what we're going to do with. Maybe I'll just drink them. <laughs> uh, we can we can drop the uh, salt water potion as well. So we're just going to drop F. Okay. So we've got 300. Uh, what are we equipped equipping at the moment? We've got soft leather armor. Can we can we better that? So we've got hard studded leather, which would give us a minus one to attack. But that's not ideal. Uh, we've also got leather scale mail, which would do the same, but that's a little bit beyond our price range, I think. Um, remind me of the shield I've got. A small leather shield. Uh, what's the armor class? Armor class is 12. And we were doing okay with that, I think. We have a hard leather cap. There's a metal cap as well. Oh, there's a nice set of gauntlets, uh, two with plus one, I think. Uh, is that plus... What does that plus one mean? Ah, okay, I forget now. Let me just double check this, guys. I'm just going to pause it. Oops. Sorry, folks, let me just close that. Okay, so, yeah, this is a magical bonus. This just basically means that you're getting a plus one magical bonus to this. That might actually be worth buying. Um, 280. Let's see if we can haggle him down. Which we can. We will be able to haggle him down. So let's offer 100 to start off with. Paid more than 100 for it myself. Okay. He was kind of zooming in on 200. Okay, so I got it for 191. That's not bad going. So um, let's have a look. Yeah, we've already got the metal cap. So let's equip those gauntlets. Uh, let's... Okay. Yeah, so that's made my armor class go up to 14. Not bad. Uh, incidentally, we've, we're also wearing this cloak, and this cloak has just got a, a 1 on it here. I think that means it's just giving you 1 straight armor class. I'm guessing that that's what that means. Because this number here is the armor class, and this number here is the magical bonus that you're getting on top of it. I think that's that's basically how it works. Let's just see what else we can get here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by anyone else. Or bump into anybody that might attack us. Okay, this is uh this is the temple. And this is the alchemist. Scroll of treasure detection. Scroll of enchant armor. Okay, so you can actually enchant your stuff as well. That's pretty cool. Potion of restore charisma. Looks like there's loads and loads of potions. Um let's get that scroll of light. Cuz uh, is that going to be useful, actually? Kind of cheap. Okay. Never know when we might get find a magical darkness or something. Okay, and uh, then we got some food. We should probably get some oil for our lantern. So I'm pretty sure I've got a lantern, right? Yep. I've got a brass lantern. That might be useful, so just get the flask of oil. Purchase E. And let's just check. How do we refill the lantern? Oh, yes, F. Okay. Whip. Wield. M. Okay, and then we're going to... Okay, there we go. Your lamp is more than uh, for half full. You have no more flasks of oil. Okay, let's just see. Oh, yeah, it's got 7,592 uh, 7, turns of light. 
Okay, I think we get back down into the dungeon. I don't think we need much more. Um, unless there's... Have we got enough food, do I think? Five rations. That should be okay for now. That's kind of what you start with, right? Let's get back down into the Dungeons of Moria and see what we can find down here. So we're going to try to get down into the later levels now because we're not going to get too much in the way of... Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's just go straight down. What is that? Giant green frog. Okay, we just killed that. Oh, we've got a door here, look. So up we go. This really, really long corridor to the north. I'm moving a bit too quickly. I'm missing some of these messages. Oh, faint from the lack of food. Okay. I've got four rations of food left. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any way that way. Oh, shrieker patch. Let's just, just try to get through this door and close that. We'll come back that way because we'll have distracted all the monsters now from that other, the other direction. Gosh, it's very dark in here. Okay, don't see much in there. It's always worth having a bit of a search. Go back up this way that we where we found that shrieker mushroom patch. White harpy. I did two attacks on me, three attacks I think that turn. Plus it's really fast, but we killed it. Okay, we dropped the uh, rat skeleton. Okay, nothing much in there. At least not that I could see. Let's get back down. Okay, back to where we started. Okay, got a door to the north. Green worm mass. Okay, killed that. They're not that bad if you find, meet them in a corridor, I don't think. Let's see what's through here. To the west. There's a secret door. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that secret door was um, op like locked off a whole branch of this dungeon. Oh, there we are, look. <laughs> yeah, look, it's all linking up. It's really interesting. I really like, as for such an old roguelike, I really like the uh, the map design in Moria. I think it's really good. I remember Angban being very good as well. I, I guess they're pretty similar. Okay, we killed the white harpy there. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much up that way. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a secret door here. Oh, okay. At least there's one that I can't see. Let's keep going south and west. No, can't see much down there. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the nearest stairs that we can find. Try and find a stair down. And then get down to the next level as quickly as we can. Oh, a blue yeek. <clears throat> Okay, let's try going east first. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, we've got a large room here to the north. Oh, there's another blue yeek. Okay. Hit it with a magic missile. Oh, got a robe. It dropped a robe. Interesting. Okay. We probably want the armor over the robe, don't we? Oh, the door to the right is broken. We can't shut it. There was a secret door here after a little bit of searching. Look. Okay. Follow this uh, northern route. Okay. Like a little bit of a... Yeah, a little bit of a round, a round dead end. Okay. Okay, I broke the door there. Oh, we got a. Yeah, we don't want to cast the spells on those things. I've noticed when you. Oh. Come on, kill the floating eye. There we go. Excellent hit. Three times damage. Oh, I killed a green frog that I just ran into. I almost didn't see it. Okay, I feel relatively safe on these high, uh, on these lower levels now. So I definitely want... Oh, green frog. I definitely want to be getting to the lower levels. Okay, we killed the blubbering icky thing and we found some spikes. Don't know if I need that many spikes. Oh, we got rubble. Let's uh, dig through it. Tunnel. Go. Read that scroll. It's an identify scroll. Item you wish identified. Oh. What do you reckon? Should we try identifying the robe? Or one of the potions? Let's just go for the robe. Okay, it's a robe 2 plus 2. That's pretty cool, look. It's interesting. So if we were to wear the robe 2 plus 2, the magic robe look, that's actually as good as our armor, and it's probably lighter, so we can drop the armor now. Or we could sell it, and it's probably... I don't think it's worth much, though, is it? So... Maybe we we'll carry it as long as we as long as we can. If we do our force to go back up to the surface, it might be worth just kind of taking it back up with us and selling. But I think I'm only probably going to get about ten or something for it, so it's probably not a huge priority. Okay, we've just linked up these two different levels of the dungeon here. Yeah, I really like the map design in this game. This one's really good. Oh, novice mage. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be much use against us. They don't seem to cast any spells. At least not that I saw. Novice warrior. Okay, we're in trouble here. What do we got? We could phase door and get away from him. There we are. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, we use the magic and we jumped away from him. Uh, we're going to try to... Oh, it's the big room, look. Found a sling. Let's try tunneling into one. Sorry. Okay, gosh, that takes a long time. So I think you need a tool to do that successfully. Uh, but we have got... Oh, 
Oh, we got a white jelly. Okay, we killed it. Did it did it turn into anything else? No. I mean, did it uh, replicate itself? Is what I was trying to say. Okay. Uh, we did manage. Ah, oh, there's a warrior. Look. Let's uh, cast a spell on him. And uh, we're going to cast magic missile. Oh, we killed him. Okay. All right. So let's see what we can do. We are, our hit points are starting to heal. Oh, we are healing. Ah, there we go. There's the there's the the exit to level 150 or uh, to 150 feet. Now, the deeper you go, the, the scarier the monsters are going to be. I like these rooms. These, this looks more like, you know, in a regular shape. Ah, what do we got here? Giant green frog. Light brown potion and some gold uh, or some copper. Okay. Let's continue down. Giant black ant. Okay, killed the ant. Good job there's not more of those things around. I think it's Adon where you get the giant ants and they just, there's loads of them. <laughs> they come out of an ant hill, basically. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go east first before going down that south and southern route. Novice Priest. Okay, I managed to kill him fairly easily. Just kind of charged at him. Found some more uh, gold look. There were copper pieces, those. Now you see there's not much, there's not much rhyme and reason to the way that I pick the routes. Um, I'm not really, I've still not figured out how the maps are generated in this yet. Oh, what have we got here? Gruffy looking Hobbit, a radiation eye. Ooh. Copper and what it Oh no, gone the wrong way. Damn it. Dollar gold. What's this thing? Novice rogue. Okay, I'm caught here. I'm getting hit. Very harpy. Oh, we got it with a magic missile. We're going to do a magic missile north. Okay, it won't let me close that door for some reason. Oh, I've got no mana for the magic. Let's fire and fire. Uh, let's use an arrow. You quickly protect your money pouch. Oh, that was good. Okay, I think I got my money back from that rogue, uh, from that novice rogue. It's just this damn thing to kill here. Okay, kill the radiation eye. Oh, Leono Mold's killing me. That thing's tough. Hmm. Let's keep away from the mold. Some more oil for the lamp. Ah, oh, what's this scruffy looking hobbit? Killed him. Okay. Quite a lot of enemies on this level. Uh, this It looks a lot more dangerous than the floor we were on before. Found some copper pieces. I want to kill that mold. But we'll just leave it, I think. It doesn't seem to be spreading. Ah, okay. Got a door up. Oh, we're hungry. Okay, we've got three rations of food. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything up that way. Hmm. More copper pieces and... Oh, let's try drinking one of our potions. Potion of heroism. You feel like a hero. Yeah, 
resist heat. So at least we know what these the colors of these potions feel better. Okay, that's probably a potion of healing. Sorry, I've hit the wrong button here. You potions of slowness. That's not good. And less thirsty. No more potions of apple juice. Okay. It's going to quaff all of these. Okay, potion of infravision. Heroism wears off. Yeah, there's a fear effect in this game. Really useful, uh, really interesting little mechanic in it. Ox prox. Okay, let's try reading that. Rather by white light. You combine similar objects from the shop and dungeon. Have a scroll of light. Okay, so that was the scroll of light I had. What is this? Brown yeek. And we got a jelly. Let's kill the jelly first. Okay, we'll kill the yeek. Okay, drop some copper. Oh. I feel very sick. Let's try and hit it with magic. Went out of mana. Okay, we killed it. Oof. Yeah, so I'm at the kind of stage of the game where I'm like, oh, I'm doing quite well. Uh, I'm not very far down in the dungeon, but at least I'm, you know, a reasonably high level. And I don't want to lose my, uh, you know, I don't want to lose my position what do we got here we've got a black naga and a large green sna uh, snake okay okay oh we don't want to fight the snake at the same time Cr keeps crushing me okay we killed them with Black Naga and got some... Oh, there's a snake. Okay, we got a good hit in on the snake and killed it. Another scroll of light. Okay, keep going. Keep going down into the dungeon. Oh, we got a yellow worm mass. Okay, we killed that before it was able to, to increase in size. But we're back kind of where we started there. Ah, further down. Here we go. Okay, we're down to 200 feet. This is where I reckon it's going to start getting a little bit more dangerous now. Now, we need about, what was that, 26 experience points to level up any further. Okay, we've got to stare upwards. That's always helpful to find. Just in case we need to get the hell out of here. What is this? Huge brown bat. These things kind of move. Oh, we killed it. They move quite erratically. I've got to say, and I might be saying this prematurely, but I feel like the difficulty curve in Mori is quite gentle. But we'll see what we come across on this floor, because there might be... Much more dangerous stuff on this floor that I've just not come across yet. Okay, we killed a novice mage there. 16 iron shots. I guess that's going to be for the sling. Giant white rats. Large green snake. Oh, come on. Okay, we killed him. That was quite tough. I'm going to rest up a bit. Okay, that'll do. Keep pushing forwards. We don't have a whole lot of food, so... Now, we've got to be a bit careful because we we don't... How much food have we got? We've got... Th I think we've only got three rations of food left. 
and we can't be guaranteed to find any. I mean, you are likely to find some, but you can't be guaranteed. Oh, grouping copper coins. Okay, we killed that. We found 21 pieces of copper. Let's just rest a little bit. Okay, because we don't know what we're going to find down here. One of those things where, you know, yeah, I haven't been playing Moria long enough to really get my head around what can come, you know, what uh, what levels, what dungeon levels. Like, for example, in Brogue, I've got a fair, I've got a fair idea of, like, what level I'm going to be on and what's going to come at me. Whereas, because I know that game reasonably well, whereas this one, I have no idea what's going to come. And it's quite, that makes it quite exciting. Yellow jelly. Let's just kill it quick. Okay, we killed it. And uh, we don't have much hit points. Let's just see what we've got down here. Oh, sorry. We, uh, we didn't lose many hit points. Large grey snake. This thing's hard to hit. Gosh, it's dancing around me. Okay. Welcome to level eight. Let's just rest here. Okay, that's enough. Go through this uh, corridor where the snake was guarding. Down here. Oh, got another one. Okay. We actually got a magic missile off on him. Okay, we killed that one. Oh, it's really dark in here. In this room. Okay, we're going to take the northward route. Oh, we got a novice rogue. Okay, we killed him. Found 25 copper pieces. That's good. Okay. Okay, I, I thought there would be something here. Ah, oh, we've got another dungeon level down. Scroll of trap detection. Oh, look, we found a trap. Okay, we disarmed the trap. That's worth doing, by the way, because you get um, experience points for. Um, scroll of summon monster. Uh-oh. Um... Let's go down this stair. Okay, so we're down to 2, 000, uh, 250 feet. The furthest down we've been so far, this is level 5. Okay, we've got another dungeon down. Oh, there's a secret door here. We found that without searching as well. That's quite interesting. Rat skeleton and a drooling harpy. I like how the flying uh, units kind of like move erratically. Okay, we killed it. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here because we are we're getting to the point where well, it's a little. I don't want the episodes to be too long. I didn't really intend to play for an hour last time. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it. I hope you enjoy the series anyway. Um, I always get a lot less views on roguelike games than I do on the strategy stuff because, you know, my channel's really built around... Uh, it's built around strategy gamers. But um, I'm curious to hear if you're enjoying it. So please let me know in the comments because it kind of encourages me to keep playing. And if you're, you know, if you are watching it and you, you know, you have something to say, like you've got any questions or you've got any advice that would be really helpful for me, please let me know. Thanks. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.